Hey there, welcome back to Rex TV. Today, we need to have a serious talk about the situation in Zimbabwe. There have been some concerning developments that we simply cannot ignore. If this is your first time to this channel I'm begging you to subscribe, share and like for more updates don't skip ads please. Reports have surfaced suggesting that the current president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Mnangagwa, has received military hardware from China. This is a worrying development, especially given the current stalemate situation in the country. It is believed that Mnangagwa is planning for war against his political opponent, Nelson Chamisa, who leads the opposition party. The fact that Mnangagwa has received military support from China is deeply troubling. It suggests that the president is willing to use force to maintain his grip on power, despite the widespread call for reform and change in the country. The people of Zimbabwe deserve better than to be caught in the crossfire of a potential conflict fueled by political ambition. It's also worth noting that China has been a longtime supporter of the ruling ZANU-PF party, which has been accused of dictatorship and human rights abuses. This raises concerns about China's commitment to the freedom and well-being of the people of Zimbabwe. By aligning themselves with a regime that has been widely criticized for its oppressive tactics, China is effectively siding against the aspirations of the Zimbabwean people for a more democratic and fair society. On the other hand, Nelson Chamisa, the leader of the opposition party, has been described as a wind of God by many of his supporters. Despite facing numerous challenges, he continues to push for change and progress in Zimbabwe. His unwavering commitment to democracy and justice has earned him the support of countless Zimbabweans who are eager for a better future. At a time when the people of Zimbabwe are craving for a more inclusive and transparent government, the efforts to suppress their voices and aspirations are deeply disappointing. It is evident that the people of Zimbabwe deserve to have their voices heard and their rights respected. In this critical moment, we must stand in solidarity with the people of Zimbabwe and support their quest for a brighter and more hopeful future. It is imperative that the international community holds the leaders of Zimbabwe accountable and demands a peaceful and fair resolution to the current political impasse. We will continue to monitor the situation in Zimbabwe and provide updates as it develops. In the meantime, we urge our viewers to stay informed and engaged with what is happening in Zimbabwe and to show support for the people who are fighting for a better tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and let's continue to stand together in the pursuit of justice and freedom for all.